News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. The autopsy results are in for a teen killed in Brownsville. The teen who had autism died last October. His death now officially a homicide. The report shows the 15 year old died from blunt force trauma. Police have charged the teen's aunt and her husband with his murder. Support is growing for a Willacy County Sheriff's deputy who lost his home in a fire Thursday. Deputy Felix Tamez was working when the fire broke out. Luckily, his family made it out OK. A GoFundMe page was set up to help the family. You can find the link up on our website. The annual Viva McAllen fundraiser is back for its 10th year. This is one of McAllen's Crime Stoppers biggest fundraisers of the year. Besides the 5K, 10K, kids run and cycling events, there will also be free backpacks and school supplies. The giveaway is happening tomorrow at the convention center. It starts at 8.30 a.m. Turning now to weather, it'll be a hot and windy day across the valley. There is a heat advisory for Cameron and Willacy counties starting at 1 p.m. That's your News in 60. Have a great day. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.